Welcome to the Red Riding Hood Hop on behalf of the Facebook group Live Art Journaling and Self Development. Several YouTube artists have come together to participate in this hop, and I am honored to be one of those. And the next artist will be linked, her video will be linked in my description. I have chosen to do this copper booklet that I have created out of 20 gauge copper and filled with handmade papers. I have chosen the antagonist in the Red Riding Hood story as I think as creatives we are often our own villain or our own antagonist through self-doubt and fear of putting our work out there. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. And of course, that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. And once again, the link for the next video in this hop will be in my description. I'm starting with a sheet of 20 gauge copper, and I am measuring that and cutting it to two 3 inch by 3 inch pieces to create the front cover and the back cover of the book. We are going to be etching this cover to create some interest and I will of course share with you how I'm doing that but first we need to take this to the guillotine and get this cut into two three inch by three inch squares. So once cut I am going to make sure that they are even and ready to go and then add my resist for the etching which is a wolf cut out of vinyl. I have coated the back with duct tape and the edges with a black sharpie to create the resist for the salt water solution. I'm etching in salt water and utilizing two D cell batteries in a battery holder with two leads. Pouring the salt into a container, and I'm just using table salt, and I will be filling this with warm water. Now, when we put that current in, this does create a gas that can be toxic to you. So make sure that you are in a well-ventilated area. So on the positive lead, I'm putting the piece that I want to remove copper from. And on the negative bead, I'm just putting a piece of blank copper. Once this is attached to the batteries, it will begin to bubble and it will pull the copper from the piece on the positive lead and push it towards the piece on the negative lead. They're in etching the one that we have put in with our resist. And once we pull that resist off, we will see that image has remained raised. And here is our woof. Now to make that woof stand out a little bit more, I am going to coat him with some rubber of sulfur. Again, all of this needs to be done in a well-ventilated area. This liver of sulfur is going into a warm water solution, and I will place my copper down inside there to just add some interest to that piece. It will darken and, and age or patina the piece of copper. And I am obviously using gloves to handle this. And once I have it where I want it, I am putting it in a solution of baking soda and water to stop the patina process. And I am just taking the excess off with a piece of a double at steel wool and just refining that down to how I would like it to appear. Now that we have that completed, I am utilizing some silver blackening that I have used. It, it just darkens the metal a bit more. So I am outlining the wolf with that silver blackening. And it's you know predominantly for sterling silver, but I am using it here on copper and it's working just fine. And I will link uh, everything that I've used in, in the description below. So I have decided that this could use a bit more um, definition. So I have pulled a piece of steel here and a ball peen hammer and trying to stay within the outline of the woof, I am just dimpling his little body and face 
to make him look a little more defined on the piece. So here we have the finished cover utilizing that saltwater etching process and, and the patina with the liver of sulfur. And I think he, he is standing out just fine. So I will uh, measure my holes that I want to drill in that copper to create um, you know, a spot to bind this book. And then to stop further aging, I'm just going to coat him with a micro crystalline wax. I'm using Renaissance wax, but you can use car wax, anything that is a micro crystalline wax will stop that aging process. Or you may not want to. But I always coat it with, with this Renaissance <coughs> wax. Excuse me. <coughs> And now to create the signatures, I'm pulling out handmade papers that I made this spring with echo dyeing with things out of my garden. And it is just a, a cardstock weight paper that I have echo dyed with plants. And I am tearing the edges to on a tear ruler to make them look kind of rough. This is handmade paper that I made out of my scraps. and this book is being filled with signatures of handmade papers and there is how they look once complete and put in i, I used each signature has um, three sheets of paper so they're small signatures and now to mark the signatures i'm gathering all together and just putting a pencil line where i want to to enter and exit the signature or where I want to Coptic bind the signature to the copper cover. Now, the more holes you use, the tighter your binding, the fewer holes you use, the looser. We are going to start by attaching the signature with this 26 gauge thread. We're poking the holes through the signature where we had made that pencil mark and I'm taking the 26 gauge copper wire, cutting off a, a large strand of it, probably too large for, for this purposes, and I'm just poking that through that bottom hole. And I'm going to drag that through or pull that through and attach it to the book. But before I do anything else, I'm going to tie off that wire on the inside of this signature. So we will just loop a little knot in it and then I am going to just take it and twist it around several times to create a little loop that we will later glue to the inside of the book to secure that. The knot has been secured, the 26 gauge wire has been taken through the signature and through the copper cover and looped around and came back up through the same hole. So now we will continue the same process down through the inside of the second hole, through the cover, looping around the stitch and back up the same, through the same hole, the opposite way, and then down through on the inside, down through that third hole. So I hope these illustrations make it very clear and easy to understand. And I hope my explanation was not confusing. The next step will be to attach the second signature. Once we have the first signature all secured to the copper cover, we will pull out the second signature, punch those holes where we have marked them and defined the area. And we will go through the outside of the first hole, tighten that up, to the signature, the first signature that we have sewn in, go back through the second hole or the center hole in that signature, loop around, come back up through the same hole, back down the third hole, looping around, and we will continue to do that until we have completed, including the cover and the final, final pull or the final entry into the interior with the cover intact will be to tie that into a knot to secure it, loop it off, and we'll create a little loop 
and give us a, a little filigree on the inside of the book and glue that down to the inside cover to create just a, a little bit of interest rather than a, a hard knot there on the inside of the book. So that completes the binding of this book. And now to move forward to the inside decoration, I have chosen some quotes from different artists like Matisse and Dali and Van Gogh, etc. And a lot of that um, deals with the creative process and the courage to move forward and put your work out to allow other people to see you and judge you. And I am securing these on a piece of craft paper and just cutting that slightly larger than the quote itself. And we will glue these down onto the interior of the book. Now to create that continuity or that walk through the woods and walking through the woods is a uh, loaded with browns and greens obviously so i'm using a potting soil ink to ink around the outside edge of one piece and a fern green to ink around the edge of the other a little bit of coffee stained cheesecloth will add some additional interest and we'll just glue everything down and attach it to the inside of our booklet Spraying the edges of that coffee stained paper. I like things rustic and and kind of roughed up. And I'm using just an art glitter glue to glue that down. And I shall do that throughout the entire little booklet. So it will be a booklet of positive quotes to encourage and to kind of uh, uh, away that antagonist. I have just cut a, a little, uh, punched a little piece out of, of that uh, echo dye paper to decorate that up a bit more. But there is the, the finished little booklet. And now to attach some spine decoration, I have just used some sari silk and a copper bead. And I am attaching that with just a, a little jump ring to kind of give us a little dangle. Please make sure to check the description below for the next video that will be linked in the description as well as on my end screen. But I hope you enjoyed the making of this copper booklet or this Red Riding Hood hop that was sponsored by the Facebook group Live Art Journaling and Self Development. And once again, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you taking the 15 minutes and spending with me. And I hope you will do the same for the artist that is up next. Bye for now.